Your boy stuff on back with another workout. So we got a four by five, three count pause. And the pause reps. I'm loving these. I'm loving these. Moving and grooving, baby. So this is my last training block. Then we're moving on to a new block next week. Really been enjoying this block right here. You know, just the perfect amount of volume, perfect amount of reps. And I'm just feeling good, man. Like, I'm not feeling beat up. The vibe's not feeling like it's so much. So we're just gonna keep progressing along and I hope you guys uh, follow me for this journey and if you're enjoying the journey because we're gonna hit some big numbers. Uh, Lord for building, I hope everyone's gyms are open and let the gyms stay open because we're chasing big dreams and big goals in 2021. No struggle. Get that weight up off my back quick. Shout out to my boy Ben Sean right here for the angles on the bench. Uh, like I said, it's real nice. And uh, this is actually a beat up three count pause bench. So no leg drive. So we're basically using just all upper body in this one right here. It's good to see what you can actually do when you don't have leg drop and you have to stabilize your core to keep yourself uh, on the bench. So I, it's a nice bench variation. Um, I'd honestly say I'd probably like the uh, Spoto presses more than the feet up pause bench. That is actually more like what a real bench would be. But like I said, I like throwing these in. It's a good variation to do. And it's, it's also keeps things fresh. Like I know a lot of times you go to the gym, it's the same things over and over and over and over again. But when you got options or choices in your programs, it always makes it that much better when you have different variations. So it keeps it fresh and keeps you chasing PRs and all sorts of different movements. So we got some chest supported rows and I haven't done these in a while. Uh, honestly, probably could have went up more weight but we kept it light I would say or light for the amount of reps we were doing but uh I definitely like the chest supported rows more than the single arm rows it feels like I'm just more cohesive in this movement than that so we got some dumbbell incline press we're getting the uh, pressing movements again, not a uh, not a uh, push hell, but um just uh, some good overall volume, some good workload. say treat yourself don't cheat yourself and you know I wasn't cheating myself out of no reps so you best believe I got my work in if the program says I'm gonna hit it for this many reps this number then hey I'm gonna hit it so don't have to worry about that but black pull downs is another accessory movement on this day and for our final movement we got three sets of 12 of floor presses and this is part my third of uh, pushing movement and uh to be 
honest, I really like the floor presses. It's kind of when I was failing on bench, I haven't failed on a lift in a while. Um, it always would be off the chest, and I feel with me doing movements to where the dumbbells can only go just about above my chest. That these would help with that uh, pushing power. I'm staying nice and uh, tight so that I'm pushing with uh, triceps. I'm trying to be tricep dominant uh, bencher and not uh, chest dominant. Cause I know some people they go a little wide. One time I strained my pectoral going real wide uh, on bench. So usually when I go bench, I go most people would say close grip, but I just go what's comfortable with me. And that's how I think everyone should bench. Just bench what's comfortable for you, and don't look at anyone else and be like, oh well, I should bench like this person because everyone's points of leverage is different. Some people have long arms, some people have short arms. You have long torso, short torso, long legs. So, with that being said, this will be the end of the video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. I'll be dropping more videos throughout the week. If you want to see me continue this journey, make sure you subscribe. I'll be back at your boy.